Okay? First position we're going to look out in a flow drill, or if you like a cater or pattern on the ground on your opponent from there, is the first position we're going to learn is what we call the scaffold from here. So whenever you're doing the, the concept of any of these flow drills from there, the pin is the concept of controlling the opponent. So the basic concept of this is whether you're uh, holding a pin or whether you're transiting from one pin or hold to another, what we want to be doing is this. If I place my hand on the person's chest and he tries to get up, he's not going to get up. If there's any point that I'm moving between the flow and there's no pressure, he's going to get up. So it's a really simple concept, but it's very effective, and it gets it across straight away to students where our pressure wants to be, which is generally the chest area here. So the first position is a scaffold. So what we're looking at from here is uh, get the person in the headlock, spreading the weight of our legs, okay, and spreading our body, so our weight's in not one position. If our weight's in one position, the person will just lift me over, like so, and remove me from that pin. So all I'm looking to do from here is spread my legs, getting my knee tight to the person's head here, okay, cradling this arm underneath the other arm from there into this position from here. And I'll tuck my head in, so if he's trying to strike me with the other hand, okay, he's not going to get too much leverage you know, on that position. Or if I want, I can come a little higher, place my elbow on the person's shoulder, so if he tries to strike me from there, he's not going to get any leverage on that strike from there like so. Okay? The reason why we've got this hand under here is if we actually get hold of this and he's stronger than me, he's going to quickly gain control of me and start lifting and turning me over from there. So this is the first pin, it's a scaffold. And all we want to do is first of all, is just have the other person playing around, just moving around with the body weight first of all, so we get used to it. So just have a little go of applying that from there, off we go. So I'm just moving around, so the person from there, I'm just getting used to feeling where my body shape needs to be. If the arm comes out, again, I'll just try and put it back in from there to this position. What I can also do if I want from there is if the arm comes free and I get it to this position, I can trap it inside my leg from there or I can trap it inside my other leg like so from there. So I'm just going to keep this pin here nice and tight from there like so. Next stage is obviously this arm from here, from there. And again, you can try and Grab my face, push it back from there like so. So we'll just play and he's using his arm, but just very lightly. So I'm just trying to control, I can trap the arm, keep going. He's using his arm to try and move me as well. Just moving just gently, trying to control the pin like so from there and time. Okay, let's move back into position. Into here. So what we're looking at as well is from there, it's just feeling where our weight needs to be, and it's pretty much common sense. What we can also do from here is if the person tries to throw me and he's half got me over, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just switch my legs into the other position from there and put my weight down onto the person like so and hold him here. Okay? From there. Like so. And again, if I switch back, I can switch forwards like so from there into this position. So I'll just do it one more time. Switching like so, to that position from there, okay.